Okay, tonight we're going to do another version of the El Sculpito streamer. Uh, the first one that we did, we've made some uh, changes to it with some materials. We've we've swapped out the crazy dubbing that we used before for um, some Mega Simi Seal. So anyway, we're going to tie the the fly again using different head material and a different eye. Um, the hook that I have in the vise right now is an Allen Fly Fishing B200 hook in a size 6. Um, also I, I bought these uh, barbell eyes from Allen Fly Fishing. They're the barbell eyes with the eye in them. I think this is the 4.8 millimeter size. So I'm going to tie that on to the, the hook shank leaving plenty of room to, to add dubbing for the head. Once I have those eyes on the head I'm going to turn it upside down and tag it with a little bit of super glue. The reason I do that is because um, there's, I kind of crank down on it a little bit when I wrap the dubbing over the barbell eyes and I don't want it to slip around. Next I'm just going to take uh, some semi seal this is the semi seal, the, the mega semi seal that we sell on our site. Uh, the, the color is dark olive brown. And it has like these little tiny flashes of purple in it. And uh, it's just really buggy. So I'm just going to build a dubbing loop and wrap that dubbing loop up right behind the eyes. Okay, I'm just going to brush this out really good and I'm going to brush it so that it goes down. Well, this would be the, the orientation that the fly would ride in the water. So I'm going to brush that all down. I'm going to bring a piece of uh, zonker strip that will go right over the top of this body. Okay, now I'm going to flip the fly upside down or right side up depending on which way you're thinking. Now on this part I've, I've cut just a little piece of zonker strip. Uh, this is just a Spirit River zonker strip. I really like their strips because they, they, they're really full rabbit. Um, if, you, you, if you have Magnum rabbit I really like that as well. And uh, so I've cut it and I'm actually going to take this part and I'm going to cut it to a point. And that's mostly just for me, but there's the point. Now to attach the the zonker strip onto the the hook, I actually leave the hook in the vise to do that. And I measure about where you know I'm going to tie it in right here behind the eyes. So it's about three quarters of an inch back is where I'm going to puncture the the zonker strip. You see that? So I've got it through, take it out of the vise, beat it down. Alright, now if I did that right, I should just be able to barely pull that up behind the eyes and tie it down. Now I left some thread here, uh, kind of a, lar a wide band of thread because now it's where I'm going to tie on the pectoral fins. Alright, you'll find these uh, these silicone legs on our website. They're uh, the olive gold color. And these colors that I'm using here with the DW or the, the dark olive brown and the olive zonker strip and this uh, gold or olive gold 
uh, silicone rubber. This has been my best color of Sculpito this, this whole year. And this is the exact fly that we sell on our website. It's been a really a top seller for us as well. Okay, so I've taken that whole hank of silicone and I've cut the ends off. And so I'm just going to place that here and tie it in on kind of on the, the far side of the hook. Give it four or five tight wraps. And now right where the barb is of the hook, that's where I'm going to cut that off. So I'm going to trim those right there. And as you can see, that's created the, the fin for the far side of the hook. So now, since I cut that off while I was holding on to the, the, the silicone legs, I can just take that clump of tight end nearest me. And it's really tricky to do this without getting poked by the hook. So, alright, those are tied in. Alright, so now you can see that's a really pretty thick bunch of silicone legs. And one of the reasons why I've chosen silicone for this is that it's pretty buoyant stuff. And so when the fly's in the water, it kind of has a jigging motion uh, because the back side of the fly wants to float up while the front side is, is heavier. Okay, now all we have to do is create a head. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my little fly sh or a craft shop fly hack and I'm going to bind those fibers all down with it so that I can get in and do a nice head. Start your dubbing loop up here so you can close it off. You're going to want about a six inch loop. And now take it back behind the eyes. Okay. Now we're going to do another dubbing loop. And this one I like to make a little bit more sparse than the body one. Or maybe not sparse as long as it's fairly even. Okay, as you can see, I've got a pretty healthy dubbing loop. I twist it all up. Now, before I start wrapping it, I'm going to pick some of these fibers out. Because it's critical that the core of this loop is as tight to the hook shank as possible. Okay, now I'm going to do two or three wraps behind the, eye, the eyes. And now... This is a critical part of the, the Sculpito, where I'll come down and around the eye furthest from me, cross it over, down around the eye in front of me, or right nearest me, and now two or three wraps in front of the eyes, and then tie it off. And yeah, it makes for a pretty messy head right now, but we'll brush it all out. Alright, now I'm just going to clean that up and whip finish it. So if you brush it out really well like this, you'll see the head just starting to take shape. Alright, the final touch is just to add some stripes on the head. And I do that just by pulling the, the fibers back. Just like that. So as you can see right here, it's a pretty mottled head. But anyway, that's the Sculpito. And uh, it's been one of our best producers this year.